Dad, you said that when I turned 118, I could go out into the world like every other adult that gets to come and go from this hotel. But maybe, maybe it's not safe. Blah, blah, blah. Dad, 30 years ago, you promised. I remember we were both eating mice, and you specifically said that you gave me your word. Good morning, Mavy Wavy. Happy birthday, my little mouse. Thank you, Dad. I know it's my birthday. I have so much fun planned. Woohoo! So I have this super cute dog that I'm babysitting for like a week. And look at it. Oh, he's so cute. Um, his name is Snoopy, but I call him McFly because I got him uh, on the day of the Back to the Future. I feel like he looks like a bat. I don't know if you see it or that's just my imagination, but to me he looks like a bat. So I like him. He is a licker and a cuddler, and now my lighting is being a biatch. Welcome back to my channel, people. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this Mavis makeup look, and it's actually really, really easy. So if you guys are going to be Mavis for Halloween, this might be helpful. So I did the makeup exactly the way the movie showed it. I studied her face at every angle and every lighting to make sure that I was accurate with this. Um, so the makeup that I am wearing right now is exactly the colors that are on her face in the film. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I guess I'll see you at the end of this video. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is put on your wig and I just put on my blue contact lenses early. You don't have to put them on now, you can put them on after makeup, but I like to put them on before. And the wig that I have is just a straight, it was a straight black normal wig from wigisfashion.com. Um, but I just cut it up into the shape. I think it's better to cut it yourself because then you can get it exactly the way you want it. And it is heat resistant so you can like do this to it, I curled it. Um, now keep in mind when you're looking for wigs, Mavis's hair is natural black. It is not, not jet black. There's a huge difference. Jet black reflects blue in the light, natural black reflects brown in the light. So what I'm using is the Celebrity HD Cream Foundation and I use it in the color Light 3. Um, it gives me that natural, natural paleness, like that. And for under eyes, I've used the Light 1. So you basically just go two shades lighter for your under eyes. And yeah, I already put it on because I wanted to make this tutorial a little bit faster, so yeah. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is taking Faint, and that is just a medium brown. And I'm going to be putting that all over my lid and into my crease. Now you want to be sure to make it very light. You don't want it to be too heavy because her eyeshadow is quite faded. Alright, so it should look a little bit something like that. Very, very light. You just want it to be kind of like a tone, like an undertone, not to make it really look like you have eyeshadow. And the next thing you want to do is put that very same eyeshadow um, under your eye. So it's going to go right here, and this one's going to give a bit of depth and volume when you have your lashes on the bottom. And because your eyes are quite round, I'm going to bring that down here and kind of make the illusion that my eyes are round as well. My eyes are not round, they are kind of almondy, so I have to bring it into the corners and kind of make it appear round by using shadows. Alright, so once you apply that, you're going to take a gray. I don't have a gray, so I'm going to be using a black, which works just fine. You're just going to take a dab into the black. Brush it on the back of your hands and it's going to make gray. Alright, so I'm going to be taking that and putting that on the outer corner of my eye. Just on the outer corner. You don't want to put it into the crease or anything like that. Just all outer corner work. And again, you want to be very natural with this because her eyeshadow isn't obvious at all. All right, take some more of that black, turn it into a gray by putting it in the back of your hand, and you're gonna do that on the inner corners, right? All 
Alright, so that is what you want. You want it to go from a gray to a brown to a gray again and make sure that the brown stays into the crease and that is how her eyeshadow is in the movie. So what I've seen, so yeah. Alright, so now I'm just kind of going back and just redefining that crease to a more brown. You want to make sure that the crease shows because that's going to look really nice with your eyelashes. Now Mavis uses a very smudgy eyeliner on the top and the bottom lashes. So we're not going to be using liquid. I don't recommend using liquid because that would be too neat and too pretty. Um, I recommend using an eyeshadow for this. So what I'm going to do is take a uh, angled brush and dip it in black. And it helps if you dip it in water first and then in the black so that way it's like super pigmented. But I'm going to put that as if I'm putting on eyeliner. Alright, so after you do the top wing, you're going to go ahead and try to do the bottom. Alright, so that's literally all you have to do for the eyeshadow and the eyeliner. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the most important part of her face, her eyelashes, because those eyelashes are bomb. Alright, so what I'm going to be using is Ardell's Natural 131, and I chose these because they're very thick. You want very thick eyelashes, but they also cannot be long. Um, so I, I just chose these, and I feel like these are still too long, so what I'm going to do is literally cut the tip of all of it, like, oh. I got glue on this. Oh well. I'm gonna be cutting literally like just a smidge. I'm just gonna be cutting the tips off. Because her eyelashes are all one length. They're very blocky, very thick. So I'm just cutting off just a tiny bit. So you want a little something like this. You see how short they are, but they look thick. That is what you want. Alright, so that is what your eyes should look like so far. Um, especially the lashes, that is the way they should look. But we're going to go ahead and put one layer of mascara. And I'm just using the Hypnose Drama. And we're going to put that so we can blend our real lashes with the fake ones. Now her bottom lashes are just as thick. But I'm not going to put on false lashes. I feel like they always fall off. So I'm just going to do the bottom lashes, but I'm going to do a couple layers of it, maybe like three or four layers. You just want them super thick at the bottom. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is contour the nose. Now her nose is a button nose, but it is kind of pointy. I can see in some of the shadows her nose, noise. Her nose is pointy. so. Oh my god. So what you're going to do is shade just like you would a button nose. So you're going to draw a line on each side here and just carry it right across. But then we're also going to draw a line down here and then shade all of that. And you're just going to make sure you blend that in so it looks very natural. So it gives the lines that we added here on the sides gives the point for the line across gives it the um, button nose that we need. Then you're just going to highlight the center to make it a little more obvious. So I don't have any black lipstick, so I'm just going to go ahead and make some out of the eyeshadow that I've been using the entire tutorial. So I'm going to be taking a base or a lip balm, anything will work. Put that all over your lips. So I'm going to do that. Ooh, it smells really good. Alright, so after you put on that base, you're just going to take your finger, dip it into the black, and pat it on. Now you don't want it too black. Hers is like... I'd say like a dark gray. So don't try to go for jet black for this look. So 
so that is how you do black lipstick with eyeshadow. Super simple, and you don't gotta buy nothing. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of align this here. Because I want my lips to look a little bit smaller than this, at least the bottom half. See how that illusion's coming along? I just gotta blend it in. Ugh. So that is literally all you have to do for the makeup. It is super easy and it's really fun. And if you're gonna be this for Halloween, I suggest it because she's so much fun to be. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun filming it. I had a, I'm actually like super, like I'm ready to take a billion selfies in this right now. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, comment them down below. If not, I will see you guys in my next video. Look at him. He likes to be carried like a baby. This is my baby. This is the baby in Hotel Transylvania number two in my movie. Go see it. I don't know how I got a werewolf puppy.